Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, I just wanted to do a follow-up right quick. Now, last week I did a video basically talking about Dolomite's former manager who basically tried to take shots at Eddie Murphy and then also he basically um, outed or basically alleged that Rudy Ray Moore, a.k.a. Dolomite, was a closeted homosexual man. Now, pretty much I spoke on that because I felt like that was wrong for him to tell Dolomite's personal business if it is true because obviously if or isn't Dolomite was gay, that should have been his choice. And obviously he went to the grave basically not disclosing his uh, sexuality, which is his business. Now, let me get to something that he said about Eddie Murphy, which I think this dude is lying, which I kind of figured that. Now, keep in mind, he said Eddie Murphy never showed no love for Dolomite. Basically, he said Eddie Murphy felt like Dolomite was beneath him and that Dolomite's comedy was too raunchy for him, which that just didn't make no kind of sense. That sounded like a, a lie from the jump. Okay. That sounded like a, a, a lie from the jump. Now, just recently saw a interview with Eddie Murphy and some of the cast of the movie Dolomite, which by the way, Dolomite is getting rave reviews. A lot of people that have saw the movie like the movie and they are talking Oscar nomination for Eddie Murphy. They are saying that Eddie Murphy could be nominated for an Academy Award. And I think he deserves one. Now, will it happen? Hey, who knows? I mean, if Eddie Murphy does or doesn't get one, he did a fine, a fine job in that movie. He really captured the role of Rudy Ray Moore to the fullest. Now, keep in mind, people got to remember, Dolomite was... was was up there in age when he started making these movies. Dolomite was born in like 19, 1927? You know? Dolomite was born in like 1927. Dolomite, if he was still alive, Dolomite would be like 90, not, he would be like 90, 92 or something? He was, he, he was like 50 when he started doing the, or close he was pushing 50 when he started doing these movies. But nevertheless, anyway, Eddie Murphy did an interview. Sorry, I digress a little bit. Eddie Murphy did an interview. And basically, Eddie Murphy said that he spoke to Dolomite. And he tried to make this movie 15 years ago. He wanted to make this movie. Now, keep in mind, Dolomite passed away in 19... Uh, excuse me, 2008. And Eddie Murphy said he wanted to make this movie around uh, 2002. Now, keep in mind, Eddie Murphy was on a terrible, like, losing streak as far, far as films go. He had just had a string of bust, a string of flops, um, I Spy, uh, Pluto Nash, just... Uh, just Dr. Doolittle 2, The Hunted Mansion. He had just had a string of, of, of flops. You know, he had had a string of flops. So he just, uh, uh, what was that other movie? Um, Show, Showtime with Robert De Niro. He had just had a string of flops. You know, and, and, and basically they just felt it wasn't the time. And they felt like not him. So Eddie Murphy held on to this project for years. And he finally got it made. He shot the movie, if I'm not mistaken, sometime last year. And they put it together and, and basically they have this jewel. But getting back to Dolomite's manager, um, there's no way Eddie Murphy couldn't have spoken to Dolomite and basically, Eddie Murphy had a couple of producers verified that they wanted to make this movie uh, 15 years ago. So basically, to me, Dolomite's manager is coming across as basically a liar and a hater and a clout chaser. 
And I kind of got an idea why he's saying this shit about Eddie Murphy. More than likely, when he found out this movie got the green light, he probably offered his services as a consultant. They didn't use him. So then he just started going on whatever media outlet he can, basically bashing Eddie Murphy. That's what it seems like where he's coming from and what his angle is. Because I just find it hard to believe Eddie Murphy was going to attempt to make a Dolomite movie in in 2002 without consulting with Rudy Ray Moore. But Eddie Murphy already had said that he met Rudy Ray Moore and that he did try to put him in one of his films and basically uh, Rudy Ray Moore was touring the scheduling and all that stuff and it just never happened. I just hardly don't believe that Eddie Murphy just basically dogged out Rudy Ray Moore. When Eddie Murphy, as I said before, uh, put all these uh, black actors in Dolomite is my name and then coming to America too uh, shit who ain't in that movie so I just find it hard to believe with Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy was known for putting you know black people in movies you know he was the one that put Robin Harris in Harlem Nights now you know you had Spike Lee hating because Spike Lee, he does that sometimes. Spike Lee think everything is supposed to be done the way he thinks it should be done. And it doesn't work like that. But nevertheless, I think Dolomite's manager is a liar. And I'm just calling bullshit. Anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.